welcome back to the SA Live Christmas special. While our elves Mike and Fiona are running around neglecting their toy making duties, some of us elves have real jobs to do. Yes, Santa tasked us with finding three fun hot chocolate drinks and there's no one better to help us than chef and author Cariño Cortez with La Familia Cortez. Thank you yes, for having you. me and hot chocolate is one of my favorite drinks to have during the holidays so I'm excited to show you three different ways. We're excited too. So this first one, we're going classic. Classic. Okay. So there's lots of different hot chocolates. There's Swiss, there's American, and then of course my favorite Mexican hot chocolate. All so right. I brought my Abuelita hot chocolate. So I'm gonna show you the little bit of the difference here. So when you open this, uh, the first time my husband looked in our pantry and I told him to grab some hot chocolate, he didn't know yes. what he was looking for. And he was like, oh is God. this it? And he's like, why is it so hard? And I'm like, well, look at the back of it. And you uh -huh. see all the different sugar crystals in there. Mm -hmm. So there's already sugar in here. There's cinnamon. There's like mm. different spices and flavors that just make it, you know, just a little extra warm. So right. I'll let you all go ahead and all put right. this in here. So what specifically makes this Mexican hot chocolate? I know you mentioned some tones. Yeah, so that. the cocoa beans are from Mexico. That's for one thing and then the way they process it so you see that it's the hard tablet you know they mm. they toast it then they shell it then they um, separate it and then they add in all of the the vanilla the cinnamon right. and the sugars in there mm. so and for people who've never had a Oliva hot chocolate it's much richer than your yes. normal American mm -hmm. it definitely exactly is. Yeah. because a lot of times in Mexico we do it with like whole milk and okay. so that's you know one of our unique secrets so um, this is eight cups of milk so mm -hmm. I did a half gallon and I already had one tablet going in there and we okay. just put another one in there <laughs> and, and then one of my favorite you know traditions is so this is called a molinillo so okay. it's a Mexican whisk and when we serve hot chocolate we like it to be frothy so I'm gonna mm -hmm. hand this to you all right and you're gonna go like this okay how's my get, technique I like it <laughs> go you a little can definitely faster see the little yeah it's frothing up here put it in the work all right okay so I'm gonna pour a cup here and then we can showcase a little bit Okay. of how to decorate this. Ooh. And you mentioned that the frothier the better, right? Because it's a yes. tradition that it's good luck. Yes, it's good luck. It gives you magical powers and strength to be able to have that that um, that froth on top. Ooh, and you nice. aerate it, so it just kind of okay. becomes yes. more decadent. This okay. looks so delicious. So we can go ahead and decorate with yes. the peppermints. And, so number okay. two is really having like this fun hot chocolate board. So go ahead and decorate. We've got whipped cream, we've got marshmallows. Perfect. And one thing I added on there was those little packets of hot chocolate. So Ooh. Abuelita has these dangerous little packets because <laughs> now I can make one cup at a time and I can also pour some in my coffee, which is even more terrible <laughs> on the daily. Um, but the best part about this is, you know, you just buy everything right. and let people make their Super own. Simple. Yeah, yes. the board is amazing. That's something that's so popular right now. You see all these butter boards mm. and everything. I yes. mean, you bring this, you're the favorite person at the Christmas party. Definitely. Definitely. And it's also good if you have a lot of people with different like dietary restrictions like right. some people yeah. want you know a different milk alternative so Even if you've like got this. the pouches of hot chocolate they can just have water milk or Ooh, like oat something. milk or something awesome. amazing so the next drink is the champurrado correct? yes okay so one of my favorite drinks it's kind of filling it's a masa based drink and so what I have here is masa harina if y'all want to smell that so right. it's a corn flour mm. you can buy it at Ooh. the grocery store it's like in the baking aisle with the other flowers mm -hmm. and I just just toasted it in a saute pan over medium heat, kind of stirring it constantly. You okay. want it to be nice and golden yellow okay. and aromatic. You don't and want toasting it. this helps with that, right? Yes. So it brings out all of the oils and it's almost like roasted corn, like mm. at Fiesta. <laughs> so we're gonna bring this up to heat. All right. And then what I'm gonna do actually, sometimes when you've got like a flour like this, when mm -hmm. you're making a recipe, it's better to add in liquid here okay. first to dissolve it. Okay. Yes, and here's your pro tip, almost like a roux oh, wow. or something like that. that. So I'm gonna do this and then we'll add it back to okay. the recipe. So while you're finishing up that, do you wanna tell us a little bit about the Baileys? Unfortunately, we're under age L, <laughs> so. Santa won't let us. We okay. can't tell us no. That, so we'll have to watch y'all, and y'all have a lot of work to do, I yes. hear. So <laughs> no Baileys for the underage elves, but to make this hot chocolate board even more, you know, if it's an evening party and there's adults, like having those little bottles of Baileys or peppermint schnapps or creme de menthe, it just makes it, you know, a little bit more fun, you know? Definitely, okay. definitely. So if y'all want more information on these three amazing hot chocolate recipes, you can head over to um, lafamiliacortez.com. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you.